So hey guys, Spartan85 here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the ARC tutorial. We're in uh, episode two. Let's give you a little quick recap if you did forget, because I forget things a lot. So we have the Morgan Pestle down, um, and we're narcotic is cooking out of there. We have four narcotic in there, and we're just waiting on this raw meat to spoil. And one thing I didn't really go over very well in the first episode when I was looking back is how to transfer things quickly. So if you want, you just hold the A button. Uh, it'll transfer things. So um, it doesn't really say that anywhere, and I apologize for not explaining that, but if you hold the A button, you can transfer the entire stack over there of whatever you're hovering over. So like I said, apologize for not mentioning that. Uh, we do have some raw meat in our inventory, and I think we have enough cooked meat. Let's put the rest of the raw meat in... Um, the mortar and pestle so it'll start to spoil so I just transfer that whole stack over there we have 35 narco berries and about 53 raw meat going there so um, one thing I'll recommend too is try to keep your weight down a little bit see my weight is 52 which is pretty good but like I'm carrying around this hide um, I don't need that let's put that up uh, you can see at the bottom of the thing how much it weighs like this these berries weigh 9.7 so let's put those up Flint weighs 1.3, these berries are 9, these berries, and you can just come back and grab these berries later. I mean, that's not a big, there's thatch in here. Um, so we're going to put all this stuff up for now. Um, let's go, uh, we just need to keep leveling up, and I, there's not much we can do as far as, we're almost got the next level, is what we can. So let's, um, let's check on our animals. You always want to make sure they're nice and fed, and they actually have a. She has a level up, and she has some spoiled meat on her. We'll grab that. Uh, actually, I have the spoiled meat. I'm sorry. Take that back. Uh, let's put that into um, movement speed. And where's my dodo? Where's Greg? Hey, Greg. He's got a level two. We'll put that into melee damage. Although it's probably not going to help him very much. Also, kind of take a, every morning, take a look around, see if you have an airdrop nearby. We have one over here. Is this on the island? I don't think that's going to be on the island. It's going to be over there. Yeah, it's, it's going to be. We did level up. I was kind of waiting for that to happen. So let's go into our levels. Let's go. Um, what have we not really gone into? Oxygen is for underwater. Don't really worry too much about that one. Water is a good one. Melee damage. Let's do movement speed. We haven't done that one yet. Let's look at our um, engrams. I'm not... The, uh, Biomia, Biomia, I don't know how you say that, is the, the kind of pig-looking giant one. I'm going to leave that saddle alone for right now. Uh, let's go Spark Powder. You need that for Gunpowder later. So we'll get that. Um, the Cooking Pot, I'm not too worried about unlocking right this minute. It's more for advanced ingredients or advanced uh, foods and stuff, so I'm not too worried about that. A Parasaur Saddle will be nice, though. Let's and bolus would both be nice. Let's do bolus first, and let's save those six. So now we can craft bolus, which we need stone and um, I believe fiber. I believe. Let me go look real quick. I know we need stone for sure, and I need to put some stairs on this thing. So let's go over here, and bolus are nice because you can basically hold the, you can tie up the dinosaur's legs. So let's go, and if you want to leave, if you want to stay in your inventory, you can when you craft these things. So here's the bola down here. So we need hide and fiber. So uh, what you need is you need thatch, stone, hide, and fiber. So we have hide right here. And I don't think we have uh, fiber. No, we don't. Let's go grab some fiber then real quick. I can finally put my torch up since it's nice and... Uh, daylight now so let's grab our fiber and parasaurs are really nice for harvesting uh, harvesting berries and fiber they they're har and they harvest a lot of seeds too so they're kind of nice to have if you have a bunch of herbivores kind of hanging around your base a parasaur is nice because you can use them to harvest basically so let's go down here we can craft three of them I'd like to craft more and I think uh, what are we gonna need probably more thatch it looks like it so let's go grab some more thatch, and uh, like I said, you need your pickaxe for that. And I was, I'm, you can see I'm crafting, that's why I'm moving so slow. So let's grab some more thatch. Hmm. 
Okay, we can craft, looks like three more, and we're gonna need, looks like hide is, uh, it might be fiber actually. Fiber's the thing we're gonna need to craft more. But that's a good amount to start with. So I will bring these down to my inventory. Let's put them in the Y slot. Here's what they look like, and we have a Parasaur right over here. Let's go see, I, I know I looked at this one earlier. Let's go see what level this one is. Uh, what are you? Level 32, kind of a high level, higher level, but I think we can do it. And so you can use the club on these guys if you want, but it's easier to tie them up with a bola. So you're just gonna hold right trigger, it's gonna swing it, tie them up, grab your club, start whacking them in the face. All right, knocked out, unconscious. It takes a while because it's a higher level. So, and it's a car, it's a carnivore. My God, it's a it's a herbivore. So it's gonna take mayo berries. So throw some mayo berries in there, and I'm gonna need more. So I'm just gonna go grab some more mayo mayo berries. I think people call them mayo berries. I call them mayo berries. I have no idea why, because it's Jesus and not Jesus. That's why. Let's uh let's go back over here. Throw some more berries in there. Um, I say it's a her, it's a male. Now there is a thing called starve taming, and something you can do if you want. Uh, it's, it requires them to eat the food all at once, and what you do is you watch the food level on the dinosaur, and you let it get down to, I don't know, a quarter to a half, and then you uh, put, the, put it in their inventory, and then you'll, uh, you can force feed them if you want. Um, I'm force feeding the dinosaur right now, but but um, you and then they'll eat it faster. It's a starve team, so she's already up to 32. He's already up to 32 percent, so that's that's fine. We'll let it tame for a minute. While that's going on, I'm just gonna come back to my my uh, storage box, and just kind of drop off some storage real quick. We have some more. We have grabbed some narco berries. So let's throw those in our mortar and pestle. Now I do have four narcotics. So let me show you guys this real quick. Let me take this narcotic over to the uh, parasaur. Now, when you get a bigger dinosaur and you're having trouble keeping it unconscious, so let's, uh, where are we at here? Why can't I see it? There we go. See the unconscious level is about three quarters. So let's say, let's say it's lower and you need to get it higher real quick. Put the narcotic in their inventory, go over here and push right trigger. You will force them to feed them to eat the tranquilizer. And it's going to raise that unconscious level. See the unconscious level is going up? So that that's what will happen. So I'm going to take that narcotic back. And I'm going to give I'm going to give them some I'm going to give this guy some more berries to eat too. That way he just has some. We'll give him all these berries here. I don't need them. All right, that was a pretty quick tame. Uh we'll just name this guy Tex. See so he said he's a tech parasaur. And if you kill these guys, you'll get some metal. So if you look on the hook for metal, you can kill them and get that. But as for now, let's bring him. Uh, is he gonna follow? You gonna follow me? Let's make sure you follow. Whistle follow one. Bring him over to our base, and we'll park him. And we'll get you a saddle here in a minute. Okay, so we want to continue leveling up, and I could use the hide. So let's go find something to murder. And I believe I don't have a spear. I think my spear broke. So we're going to have to grab some stuff for another spear. We need fiber, flint, and uh, wood. So let's grab some fiber. Flint is uh, the pickaxe, if you guys remember. So let's go over here. Take our pickaxe. Grab some flint. And then we'll grab some wood. And I put everything in inventory, and I could have used my, my inventory to craft this, but you're getting experience points by grabbing all this stuff. So you might as well just grab, you know, grab more of it. There we go. There's our spear. Let's go check out our island a little bit. Let's actually venture across a little bit. Do a little exploring. Once you get a little bit higher level and you have some little bit better weapons and some bolas. Oh boy, I might die again. And I died. Like I said in the first episode of this tutorial is embrace death. Embrace it. Now that I have a bed, you can see the simple bed. Click that. 
and respawn at sleeping bag. And it's not a simple bed, it's a sleeping bag. So respawn at sleeping bag. So we'll do that. Okay. And let me look down. The sleeping bag is gone. Like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a single-use sleeping bag. Uh, I'd like to craft another one. What do we need? Fiber and hide? Yeah, I don't have any hide. So this is going to be risky. Going out to get my stuff. But we need it. It's over there. So where's the... Let's find a better place to cross. I think it's right here, I think. There is kind of a shallow point to cross. Let's try, let's try here. Now you can build a bridge, and I've done that in the, the server that I'm in. I've built a bridge across one of the rivers. Um, and you do that by with using pillars and roofs. That's how you build the bridge. So let's uh let's walk over and get my stuff. Hopefully we don't get eaten by something. What's really nice about this game is once you find your backpack and you just grab your stuff, access inventory, hit LB, you'll grab everything. Oh, there's that stupid piranha. Come here, buddy. I got something for you. See, they like to draw you back out, don't they? So leave them alone. And then when you spawn back in, if you have game pass, you'll spawn back in with all this stuff here. I'd usually just drop it. Um, there's a raptor costume. There is a spear skin we can put on our spear. Let's see what that looks like. We'll throw that on. There's a uh, there's an axe skin, which I don't think I, I can put that on the axe. I guess let's throw that on there. Uh, so you can mess around with this stuff if you want. I'm I'm usually not too crazy about it. Um, okay, so we wanted to come over here to try to find some hide and just kind of explore just a little bit. Uh, but I'm kind of nervous about exploring now <laughs> since I don't have a sleeping bag down. Um, I need to find some hide to make another sleeping bag. Okay, we got some compies here. These guys are good for getting a little bit of hide. There we go. And my spear broke again. That's, uh, fantastic. Let's jump up back to our island. Hopefully I don't get eaten by something. I'm already getting hit. So we need to craft another spear, and we need some fiber. Let's harvest some fiber. Go back to the spear. Let's craft one. We can actually make some more bolas, too. How many bolas can I make? I can make three. Let's make some more bolas to have. Like I said, they, if you are dealing with some raptors or something, they are, it is nice to have some bolas, and you can... What is that in the water? Oh, that's a piranha. Okay. All right, we leveled up again. Let's go into our... Let's go into crafting skill. They can make some better uh, better spears, you know. Let's go into that. So now we can unlock the Parasaur saddle. We can also unlock the bow. We'll get that. We don't have any, We don't have a room to um, craft any arrows yet. So let's walk around. Oh, there's, I see some hide over here. Let's grab some hide from this dodo over here. There we go. Also, another thing when you die, you have to put your clothing back on. So, don't forget that like I did. Don't forget to put on your clothing. Uh, I'd like to make another sleeping bag if I can. Um, they are, they take, they take some fiber. Let's grab some fiber. I highly recommend always keeping a sleeping bag or a simple bed made. Simple beds don't go anywhere, so highly, highly recommend keeping a sleeping bag. Um, that way you don't have to spawn far away from your uh, base. Alright, and since we're out, we'll make the Parasaur saddle. We need uh, some hide. I don't remember if I have any. Let's go check my inventory, see if I have some, uh, some hide. Let's go check that. I have ten pieces of hide. So let's put down the sleeping bag that I made. Like I said, that way we have a spawn point. Right there. Let's see what else we need for the... We need we need some more hide, so we're on the hunt for some more hide. We've got a sleeping bag now, which means we can kind of go out a little further. Now, this little island over here, I haven't really gone over here yet. There is some 
it's a pretty it's a pretty mellow uh, island too but there is a little bit of a crossing as you can see um, well let's go for it Now you can, if you got a piranha chasing you, you can kill them with the spear. I haven't really shown that yet, just because I usually just try to run to the shore quicker. But um, I haven't been showing that, I know. Um, okay, yeah, we're on the hunt for hide. Let's go find some. Usually over here there is some dodos. Um, oh, here's a, here's a dilo right here. Let's take care of him. One shot. It's pretty nice. Now there is a there. Now, if you're looking for hide, um, you see I just got a bunch of raw meat from that. If you're looking for hide, you really should use your uh, pickaxe for that. Hide uh, pickaxe for hide, and hatchet for raw meat. So I need to be using the uh, pickaxe. Me, uh, let's go find some more hide. Oh, there's a gator. Okay, let's leave him alone. Do not mess with the gators. They will wreck your life. Um, Wreck, wreck it. Really bad. Uh, I, how much more do I need? Yeah, I need about 18 more hide. There we go. Here's a little pork chop guy. These are good for hide and meat, so we're just going to stab them. They're, they don't, they're not very fast. They're the uh, Lystristosaur. L list whatever they are. You actually get more raw, and I, I told you guys wrong, I'm sorry, you get more raw meat using the pickaxe. Alright, here's another Dilo, we'll kill him. And it is nice to, oh, he just spit in my face, as you can see, I killed him. But, uh, as you can see, I had a couple, a couple spears crafted, so if you throw one, then, uh, automatically one goes back to your inventory, so... Do we have enough to make the Parasaur saddle now? No, we don't. Man. Um, we need... We're almost there, though. Let's craft a couple more spears. Except if you throw one, then another one appears in your inventory really quick like that. So, and once you do you get in a battle like that, check your health. My health is really low. My food is low, too. So let's eat some food. Uh, I have some cooked meat here. You see my health is going up as I'm eating. Eat one more. There we go. And when it rains, your water will stay full. So keep that in mind. Uh, if it is raining, you don't have to worry about drinking any water. It just stays full. There we go. A dodo. I hear something big, though. Oh, that's a Bronto. Brontosaurus. Right there. They're pretty harmless. Do not steal their eggs. And do not accidentally hit them. That's all I gotta say. Um, they're pretty hard to get rid of. So I got 28 hide. So yeah, hide is better with the pickaxe. I'm sorry, with the actual fire axe. The fire axe. You get more hide. He's dead. So, we'll harvest him with the actual... Yeah, we're getting quite a bit of hide. Where's the other dodo at? I hear him. Oh, he's running away. Look at this. Look at this guy. What are you doing way over here, buddy? You can't escape your fate. Now, I, I would tame him. I need to see which one I have, if I have a male or a female back at base. But if you can get a male and female, you can uh, have them mate boosted. And uh, they, they'll lay eggs. That's how you um, you can basically farm more dinosaurs. Ex oh, uh, that's a rock. I thought that was an explorer's note. Um, but that's how you can... Um, get eggs if you have a male and female and just kind of put them next to each other and you'll start getting eggs. So can I make the Parasaur saddle? Man, I still cannot make it. I need some fiber. Some more fiber. Be careful at the jungles right here. Raptors like to kind of lurk in the jungles. So let's be careful of that. We should have enough to make the Parasaur saddle now. Yeah, we do. Let's craft that. Let's head back to base. Um, I've died a couple times making this crossing. Let's get a spear out. Let's try to cross right here. Like I said, you can hit the piranhas if you want. I got a couple of them on me, though. 
I killed them both. I am. Yep, yeah, they got me. They got me. The piranhas. The piranhas suck. So I gotta use my sleeping bag again. Let's respawn at sleeping bag. Which means, of course, I don't have a sleeping bag now. So let's go grab my inventory again. <laughs> at least we made it pretty far. You can harvest these uh, piranhas too if you want. You get a little bit of raw fish. He's already hitting me again. Can I make another sleeping bag? Let's look. Yep, I can. Let's craft one right now. This is why the bed is so important. Having the bed. Because you don't have to keep crafting these stupid sleeping bags. Alright, so we have the saddle for the parasaur. Go up to the parasaur, or whatever animal you want to. Put it on. And just go, uh, go up to it and push right trigger. And it's equipped. And we can put some levels into these. Now... I prefer stamina and melee damage. I'm gonna go melee damage, and let's go stamina and melee damage. There we go. I also need to put my clothing back on after I died. Let's go boom, 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 boom. Um, let's go put our sleeping bag down too. All right, respawn point set, and we can level up now. We have one point. And I haven't gone health yet. Let's go health. I haven't gone that one yet. Let's see what we can unlock now. I'm going to go for the arrows. Those are pretty nice to have. And then we can... Further down, we'll start to get to make um, actual trank area. There's a small crop plot there. Uh, those are nice. You're going to need to water it somehow, though. So keep that in mind. I'm not going to unlock that yet. This is the uh, carb... Carbonese saddle, it's the turtle saddle. So we can actually craft a saddle for our turtle if we want. I mean, that's okay. I mean, you, if you want to ride it, I'm not going to worry about cra opening that up. I'm going to start unlocking wood, though. Yeah, so we can start upgrading our base to wood. So we'll, we'll just leave that one there. Charcoal is a nice resource to have. You're going to need that for gunpowder later. So just save the charcoal. Let's cook some more food up. Let's put some wood in there. Let's light the fire. We got 40 cooking. We'll put the rest of the raw meat in the mortar and pestle. And we should be able to make some more uh, narcotics. Let's see how many we can make. We can make uh, eight. Let's get those crafting. Like I said, the, the faster you can get these going. We also got some metal, too. That's uh, that's nice to have. We'll cover metal here in a little bit. Uh, just keep that in your inventory. I'm going to put all this stuff up. Actually, this storage box is now full, so it is time to make another one. I don't think I have the stuff to make it. I need some uh, I need some wood. And we level up again. Look at that. Let's grab some wood. Let's go ahead and use that skill point, because I the faster you can unlock the bigger storage crate, the better, I think. So let's, um, yeah, let's use that level. Let's go into, let's go into fortitude. This one helps with your drowning and like just getting overwhelmed by stuff. It just, it is, it is a good one to go into. Uh, let's see, can I make the large wooden, there's the wooden pillars right there. You can use those to, um, make your, make the bridge if you're interested in making a bridge. It doesn't look like I can make the wooden, the, the larger storage chest yet though. As soon as you can unlock that thing, I highly recommend unlocking that. So let's build the, let's get the wall, the ceiling, the door frame. Let's get all that. All right, I crafted another storage chest. Just gonna put it right here. And I will sort this later when I get the bigger storage chest. I'm not so wor worried about like keeping stuff in one and all that stuff. It is smart to go ahead and start um, sorting and stuff like that, but you don't have to. Now, I'd like to get the bow crafted and the arrow, so we need some fiber and some wood. But let's see what we have over here. We do have some wood. We have some thatch. I don't think we have any fiber. I don't think we do. We do have some... Let me grab this wood here. Actually, was that fiber I just saw? Yeah, I got some fiber. Okay, so let's craft the bow. 
And for arrows, we're going to need flint and thatch. So we have some thatch here. And some flint here. And there's some more thatch. There's some more flint. So let's see how many arrows we can craft. Looks like we can craft 18. That's a decent amount. I'd like to have a little bit more. And we're going to need some more fiber for that. And some flint. So let's go grab some fiber and flint. And you're get, I get metal from this, too. I got a little bit of metal from that stone. So, like I said, two metal right there. That's not bad. Like I said, just keep stocking that stuff up. We'll need it later. So, we can craft 25 more arrows. Let's just get those crafting right now. They're just going to be nice to have. And here's the bow. Let's bring that down. I'm going to replace that with the slingshot. And I'll move the slingshot down. All right, well, let's work on upgrading the base to wood. So we're going to need fiber and wood. Let's work on that. Like I said, it's going to help us just keep upgrading and stuff. Don't really have a way. I'd like to tame some, uh, if we see some dodos or something like that, or if I see another parasaur, we might tame that too. We'll keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. Um, I'd like to tame this triceratops too. It's really would like to do that. I'm encumbered, as you can see. I'm pretty well encumbered, but... Let's craft, um, won't let me craft anything because I don't have any fiber. So the craft, if, one thing that can help with your inventory if you're if you're full is you can uh, craft the thing, the, the, the crafted thing. So like the foundation or the wall actually will weigh less than the actual materials. So we can craft one. So that might help your inventory a little bit. I tell you what's weighing me down the most is just all these berries. So let's put some berries in our some of our dinosaurs. Let's put this here, this here, this here. I'll save the mayo berries because they're kind of nice. I got some seeds though, as you can see. And we got a level for uh, Spanky. Let's go melee damage and stamina. Okay, now we got some walls crafted. All you just, you just go up to it right up here and you can just upgrade it just like this. That's how you upgrade. We're starting to get some wood, and it's gonna be it's a very fast way to level up, too. So I need to go wait since I'm harvesting a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go into wait. If I can get over there. Goodness. Let's unlock the wooden door. And I'd really like to have the window frame, too. Where the there's the window frame further down here. Let's unlock that. I'd love to have some window frames. Alright, so let me see what this guy is. He is a male, right? Yeah, he's a male. We got a turtle down here. Let's go see what level this turtle is down here. I'd like to find a female turtle. Let's see here. What are you? That's a male. Okay, we'll leave you alone. I wouldn't mind taming this guy. What level are you? Ooh, level 63. That's a little high. A little lower level. I think I could tame him with the slingshot or the club. But might need some uh, trank arrows for that guy. Okay, we're on the hunt for some more wood. So let's uh, let's get some wood. Gonna make some windows. Cut down all these trees by our base. How many window frames can I make? Let's make... Uh, three's good. Let's make three. These are just kind of nice to see out if you want to. So let's put one... Um, right here. Put one right here, and I don't want to be able to look at the I don't look at the rock. And let's put one right uh, right here. So now we got some window frames. You can see now we can kind of see out, see what's going on, check on our animals. Okay, we got some more walls to put up. And I'm not gonna do all of this today. It's just one just nice to kind of get this going. That like I said, if we do get chased by something, at least we have a little bit of protection. Stone is going to be your best, if you can get stone. So that's a good start. Uh, just kind of keep doing this over time. You can do this at night if you want to go harvest or something like that. Let's go... Um, is that the same one I saw? Let's go explore just a little bit. 
we'll kind of maybe we'll find something to tame before we end this before we end this uh, episode. We have we have a male, um, and we have a where's my dodo? Aren't you over here? You are a male, so we have male, and then well, I think everything's male, isn't it? Okay, so we have the we have the parasaur, so we can ride it. Like I said earlier, this thing's really good at harvesting. You push right trigger to harvest. Um, and look at all that stuff you got. Look at all that stuff. Freaking awesome. So, and they do a little bit of melee damage. Not a ton, but they do do some doo-doo. Ha! They do some, uh, melee damage. So let's, um... Let's jump over here. I do recommend having some type of dinosaur to have when you go explore. It just gives you a little more protection. You can jump off, you can do the attacking, and you can have, um... This dino attack, and I'll cover this too. Um, hold B. You can go passive, neutral, or aggressive. Neutral will attack anything that you're attacking. So I'm going to go neutral. Oh, we can level up too. Let's definitely put a level in this guy. We want that. Let's go melee damage. Uh, passive, they will not do anything at all. They'll just sit there literally watch you fight, which is no fun at all. Let's go... Um, Let's go this direction. We really haven't gone this direction very much. If you want to look at your map, push select to open your map and then R RB for the right trigger. You can see I really haven't opened up a lot of this map, which we really need to. There is some iron or some metal on top of the hill. Um, get out of this screen. Basically, there's my base there. There is some metal on top of a hill, kind of over there, if you guys are in the search for metal. I'll cover that in an episode later, when we're really on the hunt for metal. Right now, we're just kind of seeing what is out there. There's that croc. There's that croc. Definitely give him a wide berth. Very wide berth. If you go down the other direction, which is east, if you go towards our... The, the server base, where my, my me and Steve's server base is. Ow! And just push right trigger to attack. So I'm gonna jump off, grab my spear. Where are you at? I think I just tamed... Oh, you know what? Um, I tamed this guy. He stole... <laughs> He stole some berries, I think, either out of the out of the Parasaur or out of me. One of the two, but I just tamed him. It's a female. This is the uh, Pegomastics. They're the guys that... They're the thieves, basically. So if you need to rename them, hold Y. Go to Options. Um, change name. Name this guy Thuggy. Since he's a thief. He's Thuggy. There you go. All right, Thuggy. You can follow us if you want. Uh, do you have? You don't have a level, do you? Okay, so we have one dino. We'll whistle neutral and follow. So now we have dinosaurs following us now. So he's gonna make sure he's gonna. So he's gonna follow us and he's gonna basically help us attack stuff. So you have a little a little army now. That's kind of how you walk around with a little army. This kind of ends here. Let's go into the uh, jungle. I really don't recommend doing this at all. Uh, there can be Carnos in here and stuff, but like I said, we're just kind of exploring a little bit. Have fun with this game. Explore a little bit, you know? There's another pa Parasaur up here. Let's see what this guy is. What are you? Are you a female? Uh, another male. Okay. Not the greatest place to tame something either. You really have to, like, defend it. I don't recommend taming something in here unless you've got some good defense around you. All right, we came back out. My base is right there. Let's go the other direction. I'm not seeing much over here. We have that Bronto right here. We do have a couple turtles over there. I think I've already checked that turtle. There's a beaver. I, to be honest, I haven't messed around a whole lot with the beavers. So, uh, this is the fastest dinosaur in the game right here. Um, forgot the name. You can tame them. It's a Iguanodon. Duh, it's an Iguanodon. I knew that. Um, they are very fast, though. You almost need a pin to, uh, to tame them. So, or a trap of some sort. And they will run away. There's another Parasaur up here. Lots of metal Parasaurs in this map. Let's see what the level this guy is. 
Eh, another male. Okay, we'll leave them alone. Before you tame something, make sure you put your dinosaurs to passive, too. Uh, mainly because your, your dinosaurs that are following you will attack. We've got a fight going on over here. I may not want to be involved in this. Something's attacking me. Looks like it's a dilo. It's a couple dilos. Okay, I'm gonna jump off. Let the other dinosaurs kind of help out. Oh, I got spit on. All right, that's quite a little battle. Did I lose my uh, thief? I think I did, I think he got killed. Um, Yeah, we got something going on over here. This guy was wanting to pick fight. Let's move down the beach a little bit. My parasaur is injured a little bit. You can look at the top right. Uh, it's got about half health, so let's move down a little bit. Um, let's actually move across the beach here. A little bit more safety. We got some guy picking fights down there. I have a level. Let's go melee damage. Seems like I really need that. Here's the irrigation that I was kind of talking about. You need that for your uh, crops. There's the trike saddle. That'd be nice. Um, I'd like to have some trank arrows before I mess around with that, though. Hide armor is a really good thing to open early. Let's make wooden stairs. I need those. Uh, cementing paste is a good one to unlock. That's only three. Wooden spikes are a nice thing to unlock, too. I'm going to unlock those. And that's about all I can really do right now. Tex uh, doesn't have a level. Health is about half. It's slowly gaining its health back, as you can see. And the general rule of arc is the further inland you explore, the harder it's going to be. So just keep that in mind. Um... So the more inland you go, basically north from your starting location in the south, the harder it's going to be. I hear a dodo. I'd like to see what... Yeah, I saw. I heard the dodo, but I don't see where he is. So let's go ahead and cross. I'm probably going to get my parasaur killed by a piranha. It's getting dark, too, so I think we're going to head back. This has been a pretty decent length episode of the tutorial, so if there's anything else you guys want to see, let me know. We're going to try to get Trank Arrows unlocked in the next episode, and I'm going to show you guys how to tame, you know, uh, Triceratops. We have the Trike Saddle. We, we're very close to unlocking that. The Trike is a fun dino to have. You can do a little bit more exploring with that. So, But just take your time with this game. There's no... I, I know... First thing you want to do is maybe go to the redwoods and, you know, see all the dinosaurs, but... good. Oh, there's a croc right there. Oh, my God. Uh, you guys... You guys on neutral? I better bring Greg inside. You go inside, Greg. Let's move our dinos a little bit more over here. I think we're going to close our doors. Yeah, no sense attracting uh, something like that. Greg's got a level. Let's go into uh, melee damage, movement speed, and stamina. What is that moving around? I hear a lot of movement outside. Um, Spanky doesn't have a level. I was hoping, really hoping to level up these dinosaurs. There's a turtle. What level are you? That's a female. Hey, actually, we should tame her. If she's there in the next uh, episode... Actually, she's only a level 2. I don't do that in the dark with a crocodile running around. Let's not. Let's be smart. Good place to end the episode, though, guys. We'll pick things up in the next the next one, and we'll try to... We'll tame that turtle. Show you guys how to get the mating and get some eggs. And then we'll uh, maybe try to tame a trike, too. Let's check... Uh, let's see how much... Let's see how our mortar and pestle's doing. We need more narcotic. Now we can make 8 more narcotic. Awesome. Just keep pumping that out. Check our campfire. We have some cooked meat in here. Let's throw some more wood in there to get that going. 
And this thing can only have three slots. So if you're having trouble putting wood in, it only has three open slots. So make sure you take stuff out if you need to. Um, we have some spoiled meat. We actually have a Parasaur stylish saddle skin. <laughs> we got that from killing something. You get you get skins from like just killing certain dinosaurs and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Let's um. I think we're doing good on raw on meat. Let's throw the uh, raw meat in here. I think we're and we'll throw that Parasaur uh, skin on the on the Parasaur saddle. So, all right, guys, signing off. I'll see you guys later. Bye.